Hello everyone, welcome to this channel, I am Lily and in this video we are going to look at all the changes, some of the fixes and also some of the features of patch 2.10.0. This patch is a double step patch as it contains two iterations. The first iteration belongs to environment which is the sixth step on the roadmap while the second iteration is from the fifth step knowledge and this is something we have all been waiting for, namely agriculture. The environment step contains the effects and the affects of the weather. The farm crop will yield based on the weather or more precisely the temperature and if you had a particularly cold or warm season, it is going to affect your crop. This means that if the seasons were too cold or too warm, the yield could be decreased, while having a very temperate season for the specific crop could make the yield increased. Also belonging to the environment is the weather effects. If you are a lover of rain and thunder, there is good news for you, because we now also, in addition to rain and fog, have thunder and lightning. It is visual and audio only for now, so that means that the tribe will not be affected by this, but that does not mean that we as players cannot enjoy it. Next on the list, and finally here, is agriculture. Agriculture is controversially thought to have started some 12,000 years ago in the Near East, and in roughly 6k BC, the Atlantic Europe was swept into the Neolithic Revolution. Ultimately, this was effectively the end of the nomad hunter-gatherer lifestyle as we know it, as this meant a fundamental shift in lifestyle from nomadic hunter-gatherers to a more sedentary existence. This in turn also meant that a larger population could be sustained because crops could now be farmed to meet the demand. With agriculture, we also now have a new work group. This work group is for farmers that you can populate to take care of all your farmland. When assigning our farmland to a farmers group, they will be tilling the soil, they will be doing the planting and they will be doing all the harvesting. By this, the tenth knowledge we have in the game is, of course, agriculture knowledge. Any members that do any planting, tilling or harvesting of any farmlands will gain skill levels in this knowledge. With our farmland, we also have no less than three different types of crop that we can cultivate. We have wheat, beets and peas. And just like the first farmers in the Neolithic era, so must we as well get our first seeds from harvesting them from the wild before we can plant any crops. We then need to save the seed until the next planting season starts. When planting season starts, we allow our farmers to take out the seeds that we have saved and plant them in the farmland that you have assigned to any specific type of resource. Before planting, your farmers will prepare and loosen the soil by tilling it. Each type of produce has a unique planting and harvesting time, meaning they will each have a different timing of when they need to be planted and also harvested. You can find this information when hovering over the type of resource in your crop selection panel. If you miss the planting season, you will have to wait for the next planting season to plant. And likewise, if you do not harvest your crop during harvest season, the produce will rot away in the fields. But worry not, you will have two full months to both plant and harvest your produce, so you do have plenty of time to get it done. With agriculture, we also have new equipment. One of them is a thresher for wheat that will separate the edible grain from the rest of the straw. Your people will grab a bundle of wheat and hit it over the thresher for this process to occur. The grains will loosen and fall down on a piece of leather that is placed in front of the thresher. Then your people will pick up the grains and place them on a milling stone for crushing. With that, we also have a new food type, bread. When the wheat has been milled, it will become flour, which is what we need to make bread. This flour will be paired into round loaves of bread and baked in the oven. This in turn means that both the mill that we have in the game and also the oven is now functional. The mill will grind your wheat while the oven will bake your bread. With agriculture we also have new tools. The stone sickle is a handheld tool used for harvesting. A fix we have got in this patch is the issues we had with migrating from coastal settlements. We at times were not allowed to migrate after spending at least one year in the same coastal locality. 
the game would not allow you to migrate because you, in actual fact, were in the middle of the ocean. The reason we could not migrate is because as the Ice Age came to an end, all the ice melted away with great speed. This caused the sea levels to rise and land to disappear into the ocean. It only took roughly three millennia from the sea levels started rising in the Atlantic until all of Doggerland was lost under the ocean. The devs have developed a warning system for us that will inform us when the sea levels are starting to rise. Depending on where you settle, you can either get the warning as soon as you have landed, which is typically Western Atlantic coastline, or when the first year has passed. You will then only have one year to get migrating, or you will be in the ocean forever. The next edition in patch 2.10.0 is also belonging to the environment set, and this change will affect your tribe. The people in your tribe will now change clothes based on the weather. As temperatures change through every season, so will the clothing people are choosing to wear. In the winter time, they will be packing themselves in with parkas and thick woven textiles, while in the spring you can see people are starting to take off their warm clothing. The clothing choice is individual, so some of the people in your tribe that can handle the cold better than others will not start wearing any winter clothing until it gets really cold while others are so adverse to cold that they will refuse to take off the winter clothing until the temperature is very very warm. Some of them are so hot in the summer that they even choose to go around bare-chested. Another change to the game is our much-loved luxury. We now have tall grass granting fiber or reed. The amounts of tall grass that can grant these resources are divided between the two types of resources. This will help us greatly to keep up a sedentary lifestyle without going out of reed or fiber within a few decades. A much welcome addition to the game is the new policy of communal task versus group task priority. You can place the priority as you see fit and leaving it on default means that the priorities are equally shared between the communal and the group tasks. Moving the slider up will increase communal task priority over group task, while moving it down will decrease the communal task priority over the group tasks. This is a policy that is decided by you as a player only, without interference from the tribe leaders. The tribe leaders declined to comment on this, but they did mumble something about that they did not care for what people were doing as long as they were happy. We also have 8 more achievements to strive for, leaving us with a total of 27 achievements that we can unlock. All the new achievements have to do with culture, seasons and timelines. We have also been given a help button to the left bottom of the screen to help us find the mouse and keyboard controls along with some useful navigational information. You click it once to have it stay on your screen and click it again to close it down. That concludes this video about the changes, some of the fixes and some of the features of patch 2.10.0. We now only have three more steps to go before a complete base game. These steps can be found in the roadmap added in the description below. Next up in development is the step called Beliefs and it will contain among other things rites and burials. The base game will be released in December and this also means that the developers are still welcoming any feedback you wish to give whether it be suggestions, ideas or even congruent research. I will keep doing my videos for each patch as usual and I hope to meet you all in my next videos. Until then, have fun and take care.